Today's topic is transverse myelitis. Transverse myelitis is a rare neurological condition characterized by an inflammation of a section of the spinal cord. This can cause damage to the myelin, the insulating sheath covering the nerve cell fibers, including those in the brain and in the spinal cord. Myelin fits around the nerve cells like the insulation that covers an electric wire and allows for the quick and efficient transmission of electrical impulses along them. When myelin is damaged, the nerves can damage as well, making it harder for them to send signals to other parts of the body. In transverse myelitis, the nerves on both sides of the spinal cord are damaged, and this interrupts the message that the spinal cord sends throughout the body. In severe cases, the condition can lead to major disabilities. Causes The underlying cause of transverse myelitis is unknown. In 60% of patients, the cause is idiopathic, or there is no known cause. The inflammation seen in the condition has been associated with various conditions, including viral infections. Viral infections known to be associated with the condition include HIV, herpes simplex, Epstein-Barr, cytomegalovirus, herpes zoster, flavivirus infections, such as Zika virus and West Nile virus. Bacterial infections such as Lyme disease, tuberculosis, and syphilis. Autoimmune conditions such as lupus and Sjogren's syndrome. Multiple sclerosis, a condition that destroys myelin nerves in the spinal cord and brain. Neuromyelitis optica, a condition that causes inflammation and myelin loss to nerves in the spinal cord and optic nerve. Spinal cord injuries. Vascular disorders that disrupt blood flow through the vessels of the spinal cord, such as disc embolism, arteriovenous malformation. Symptoms. Pain in the lower back. Sharp pain that shoots down from the legs or arms or around the chest and abdomen. Weakness or paralysis in the legs or arms. Troubles with bowel and bladder control, including urinary incontinence, difficulty urinating, a need to urinate more frequently, and constipation. Loss of appetite. Muscle spasm. Pins and needles feeling in the feet, toes, or leg. Diagnosis and treatment. The doctor will make the diagnosis based on symptoms, medical review, assessment of nerve function, and test results. The diagnostic test that may indicate inflammation of the spinal cord and rule out other disorders include MRI scan, lumbar puncture, where a needle is used to draw a small amount of cerebrospinal fluid, or CSF, that surrounds the spinal cord and brain, blood tests to identify infections, check for antibodies associated with neuromyelitis optica, and to rule out other conditions. Treatment. Treatment options include intravenous steroids to help reduce inflammation in the spinal column, plasma exchange therapy for people who don't respond to intravenous steroid, antiviral medications for people with a viral infection of the spinal cord, pain medication to lessen chronic pain, medications to treat other complications such as urinary or bowel dysfunction, depression, medications to prevent a recurrent attack. Additional therapies focus on long-term recovery and care. These may include physical therapy to help improve strength and coordination. Physical therapy may help you learn how to use any needed assistive devices, such as canes, braces, or wheelchair. Occupational therapy to learn new ways of performing day-to-day -day activities, such as bathing, house cleaning. Psychotherapy to help with anxiety, depression, sexual dysfunction, and other behavioral issues. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.